Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome into today's movie reaction. I'm watching Dune from 2021 for the first time. This was the winner of a Josh Brolin poll that I put on my YouTube community tab a little while ago. If you voted in this poll, even if you didn't vote for Dune, thank you so much for voting. It means the world. And I do YouTube polls pretty often. I feel like once every two to three months. So make sure that you're always tuning into that and not missing any of those. All I know about Dune is that Josh Brolin is in it. Timothy Chalamet is the main character, I believe. I also think Oscar Isaac is in this movie. I know that a Dune 2 is coming. I know that Dune is based off of a book. I don't know the story though. I feel like I saw the trailer for this way back in 2021, but I have absolutely no recollection of it because I didn't end up watching it, right? I do feel like we're dealing with like a future humanity situation though. Like we're gonna be however many years in the future of like where we are today. It's kind of the vibe I get, but I could be totally wrong on that. I don't know. I'm excited to go into a movie where I'm really not sure what to expect. I know that there's lots of people that love this movie. I know there's lots of people that found this movie was way too slow or boring or whatever. I'm interested to see how I feel, but I'm going in with an open mind and I'm going in hoping to like it. So with that, if you do want to catch the watch along of this, instead of watching this chopped up edited version, you can find that over on my Patreon along with everything else I've watched for the channel. And with that, just thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everyone sub to the channel. And with that, let's press play. Dreams are messages from the deep. Didn't realize this was a Warner Brothers movie. Here's hoping that they're kind to me when I try and put this reaction up. My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. You can see spice in the air. Okay, so I'm getting like super fantasy vibes now. They ravage our lands in front of our eyes. Zendaya, hello? I didn't know she was in this. By controlling spice production, they became obscenely rich. Richer than the Emperor. <gasps> Hi, Drax. <laughs> it's crazy how we're talking about Spice and these people kind of look like the Pikes almost from Star Wars. Spice, Imperial. Am I watching a Star Wars movie? Why did the Emperor choose this <laughs> Emperor. <laughs> and who will our next oppressors be? Dune part one. Ah, okay. So makes sense. There's a Dune two coming. Year 10,191. Okay. So we are like, we're very in the future. If you want it, make me give it to you. Use the voice. Give me the water. The glass can't hear you. Come on, me. Give me the, the water. water. Creepy. Almost. Bene Gesserit skills take years to learn, Paul. You look tired. More dreams? Mm. Mm. With sandstorms powerful enough to cut through metal. Yikes. The Fremen have adapted well enough to survive. The Fremen share the deep desert with the giant sandworms, known to the Fremen as Shai Hulud. Long exposure to spice has given the tribe their characteristic blue eyes. They are dangerous and unreliable. Mm. Spice is the sacred hallucinogen, which preserves life and- Yeah, they're just trying to protect their land and their resources. Spice is used by the navigators of the Spacing Guild to find safe paths between the stars. Oh, interesting. So I feel like there'll just be never ending fighting then over it. Wow, that's a really big ship. Just the scale is wild. Hi, Oscar Isaac. Oh, and Josh Brolin. I didn't even realize he was standing right there. <laughs> How much will it cost them traveling all this way for this formality? 1.46 million 62 salaries round trip. That was a very Bran Stark thing that he just did. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis and serve as its steward. Do you accept? There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. House Atreides accepts! All right, interesting ceremony thing. Everyone's outfits, though, like the costumes in this movie so far. I love them. Duncan. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> so you're going to Arrakis tomorrow. <gasps> Jason Momoa. I didn't recognize his voice. I'd like you to take me with you. You've been trying to give me court martial. I've been having dreams. I saw you with the Fremen. So I do find them. There you go. That's a good omen right there. He didn't say what happens after, or he didn't really give you any details. I saw you lying dead. Here we go. I felt like if I had been there, you'd be alive. Dreams make good stories. Everything important happens when we're awake. 
I wonder if these dreams are actually just visions then. When we get to Arrakis, we'll face enormous danger. Political danger. Mining spice, keeping the Fremen in their place. We'd be no better than Harkonnens. No, by making an alliance with the Fremen. That's what I've sent Duncan Idaho to arrange. Okay. On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. I want you sitting in on my council. Learn what I do. What if I'm not that? The future of House Atreides. Aw. I told my father I didn't want this either. Your grandfather said, a great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it, and he answers. And if your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. Oh. My son. Very intrigued. Apologies if I don't remember names of things. Might need a second watch for that. Are you the new weapons master? With Duncan Idaho gone, I must make do as best I can. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. This is interesting. Ah, the slow blade penetrates the shield. Oh, it's a full shield, okay. I have you. I will look down, my lord. Mm -hmm. You to join me in death. Yeah. Visuals on that are super fun. For 80 years, Arrakis belonged to House Harkonnen. Can you imagine the wealth? You never met Harkonnens before I have. They're not human, they're brutal. Well, that's because you've been... You have to be ready. <clears throat> Homeworld of House Harkonnen. Guidey? Guidey? I don't know. I'll wait till it's said. Oh, this actor. He's from the MCU, too. He's that Russian guy that helps Ant-Man. The last of our ships have left Arrakis. Very good. How can the Emperor take everything we've built and give it to that Duke? The traitor's voice is rising. I know this voice. I need to see more of that face. <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> His name is Vladimir. Cool. Another dream. Or vision. What's wrong? Get dressed and come with me. The Reverend Mother Guy Selimoheim is here. She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit School. She's now truthsayer to the Emperor himself. She wants to know about your dreams. How does she know about my dreams? She told her your mother asked me to check your vitals what's happening he's amazed his heart is strong as ever my lady hmm things feel super like mysterious and i love that remember your training Defiance in the eyes, like his father. Leave us. You must do everything that my reverend mother tells you. Good last words. Come here, Neil. Ooh, that voice just went right under my skin. Okay, so if you're talented with the voice, you can, like, make people do things. Put your right hand in the box. Your mother bade you obey me. Yeah, please listen. I hold at your neck the gom java. Poison needle, instant death. Remove your hand from the box, and you die. It's in the box. Pain. Sick. Oh. <laughs> can she feel it too? It seems like she can. Silence. He has to be quiet? Oh, God. Oh, okay, she can't feel the pain. She just knows what he's going through. Is she able to see his dreams by doing this? Enough. Like sifting sand through a screen, we sift people. If you had been unable to control your impulses, we could not let you live. You inherit too much power. Because you are Jessica's son, you have more than one birthright, boy. Hmm. We've been training him in the way. Tell me about these dreams. A girl on Arrakis. Have you dreamt of her before? Many times. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Not exactly. Goodbye, young human. I hope you live. <laughs> what a cheerful goodbye. <laughs> that was such an interesting scene. You chose to train him in the way, in defiance of our rule. He wields our power. Oh, he had to be tested okay. to the limits. So much potential wasted in a male. Mm. We were told to bear only daughters. Oh, interesting. His sight is barely awakened, and now he goes into the fire. We have other prospects. If he fails his promise, let's hope he doesn't squander it. What does it mean that I could be the one? 
the real sense of years. We've been carefully crossing bloodlines to bring forth one. A mind powerful enough to bridge space and time who can help us into a better future. So I believe he's here. Interesting. I feel like I'm following along somewhat okay. <laughs> the scale of the ships in this story is crazy. My lungs taste the air of time, bone past fallen sand. God, I love bagpipes. The fear of what? No. How does it feel to walk on a new world? Exciting, to say the least. My advanced team has secured the city. Please come back to me. Are they pointing at him? Don't be fooled by the welcome. They follow their old master's rules. Oh, they were just saying a welcome. Okay. Let's get you out of the sun. The heat can kill in this place. What are they shouting? Listen, al -Qaib. Voice from the outer world. Ah, okay. It's their name for Messiah. Gotcha. That means the Ben and Chesarid have been at work here. These people have waited for centuries for the Lizan al -Qaib. They see you, they see the sun. Okay, so they were pointing at him. These wings remind me of, like, insect wings. Shield wall protects the city from the weather and the worms. I'm interested what these worms look like. I wonder how big they are. The locals call the big one the Hand of God. Two moons? The Hand of God is wreaking havoc on our comm system. It's so quiet. That's what worries me, too. There's a spaceport, and that plume of dust there is the spice refinery. I want you guarding them. The sun's getting too high. We need to seal the doors. So it gets so hot here that they have to, like, everyone has to be inside with, like, these super thick walls. Crazy. I feel like our world is going that way soon enough. What is your name? Shut up, Mapes, my lady. I know that you have a weapon concealed in your bodies. If you mean to harm me, I must warn you, whatever you're hiding, it won't be enough. The weapon is meant as a gift. Do you know its meaning? It's a maker. <laughs> the maker of the deep desert. What is she gonna do? What is that Al Qaib? The mother and the son. It is yours. Hmm. I really love that sign language seems to be something that is well known. It's a great way of communication, just like what she was doing, where she was just signing below out of eyesight the other lady was watching and then earlier jessica and paul she communicates him with sign language so that no one could overhear you should be out here this hour of the day they're out here they don't care about heat stroke i don't know date palms could even be found out here each one of these drinks every day the equivalent of five men 20 palm trees should we remove them save the water no 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 these are sacred plus they kind of <laughs> They bring some nice, something nice to look at when the rest of the city is just like concrete or whatever the material is. The sand one, capable of reaching 400 meters. Okay, 400 meters, that's big. Rhythmic noises which attract the sandworms, the Fremen cross desert spaces using the sandwalk. Ah, so not a repetitive thing. These plants cling to life in a parched, nutrient poor landscape. Um, what is that? I definitely don't trust this. It's a hunter seeker. The operator must be nearby. A hunter seeker? So someone sent that. A hawk and an agent was submitted into that hole six weeks ago. Sai, I failed you today. There's no excuse. Man. You have my resignation. So I am my honor to They tried to take the life of my son! I don't give a damn about your honor! Your grace. He was so quick to be like, my fault, I will step down. But mistakes happen. If you can speak without fear, our pet doesn't understand your language. Get out! It understands. Activate <laughs> silence. Our traders would die in the dark. But his wife is under our protection, and by extension, her son. Allow them the dignity of exile. I give you my word. Oh, that's Andor, also MCU. Skarsgård. Now our traders will live. My lord, you gave your word to the witch. I said I would not harm them, and I shall not. The desert takes the weak. Almost didn't recognize him, because he looks really different, but that voice is... Very recognizable. We won't see prophets like that for a while. Not with the equipment they left us. 
How bad is it? We're meant to fill every creek, every 25 standard days. Harkin and sabotage slows us down. Who did the emperor appoint? Dr. Liet Kynes, imperial ecologist. I want to see these harvesting fields myself. Yes! Ah! <laughs> I love their relationship so much. For four weeks, I lived with the Fremen in a community called the Siege. The Siege? How was it hidden? It's underground. Arrakis is filled with caverns. How big was the place? I'd say 10,000 people. Pretty good size. And there are hundreds of sieges. Yeah. Millions of Fremen. Mm -hmm. The Harkonnen estimate was 50,000 on the whole planet. The Fremen watched me search for them for days. I never saw them. Finally, they sent a warrior out to kill me. I have never come so close to dying. There's no finer fighter in the Imperium. Well done. Thank you, my lord. Your leader has a knife. He won't surrender, sire. It's a Chris knife. It's sacred to his people. It's fair. Let him pass. I don't think he's gonna try anything, at least I hope not, but we'll see. Hey! Hey! Sir, I respect the personal dignity of any man that respects mine. Thank you, Stilgar, for the gift of your body's moisture. We accept it in the spirit in which it was given. <laughs> <laughs> you are outworlders. You come here for this place. You take it, giving nothing in return. If it's in my power to grant, I'll give it and ask for nothing. Do not seek our sieges. Do not trespass in our lands. The desert was ours long before you came. That seems reasonable to me. I cannot promise not to travel into the desert if duty compels me. But your sieges will be yours forever, and you will never be hunted while I govern here. That's very honorable. I must go. Won't you stay? We would honor you. Honor requires that I be elsewhere. She, she. I recognize you. Interesting. Our plan bears fruit. But it will take time. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can't just show up here and expect that they're going to be insanely nice and cooperative. The moons here have a magnetic field, so a simple compass needle won't point north. It takes a clever piece of clockwork to sort it out. Neat. And still suits and sand compactors and all kinds of ingenious things. You admire them. I do. Well, yeah, if you spend time with any group of people, you're going to fucking admire them. That's why people who travel the world, at least in my experience, they're generally very respectful because they've been around the world and they've seen how different cultures live. This is really cool. The visuals in this movie are awesome. So cinematic and just, I just can't get over the scale of everything. The judge of the change, sire. Thank you for the still suits. With your permission, sire, I must check the integrity of your suit. Stop. Uh, so jumpy. Even this early in the morning, you wouldn't survive two hours without one of these. It cools the body and recycles the water lost to sweat. Your body's movements provide the power. Cool. Find a tube to allow you to drink the recycled water. You've worn a still suit before. No, this is my first time. Well, your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? Seemed the right way. Mm. <laughs> You shall know your ways as though born to them. I am accepted in both siege and village. Come and see the spice sands. Hopefully I remember that because I feel like that was really important just then. So this whole planet is just sand. Sand and spice. You can see the spice scattered over the surface. You see these spotter aircraft looking for worm sign. Worms travel deep but get closer to the surface when they attack. How much warning do they give? They're drawn by rhythmic noises. Looks like one to me. Calling Crawler Delta Ajax Niner. Worm sign warning. Acknowledge. Worm sign confirmed. Stand by for contact fix. So they prevent it from getting closer? They'll call a carry all to lift the crawler. They'll harvest right up to the last minute. Prepare to be airborne in 30 seconds. Oh no. Can they still lift it? Oh man. Any carry all in the sector, please respond. Where do they evacuate to? Crew of 21. Our ships can take six each and still three short. We'll find a way. Oh gosh. Time for an intense scene. All right, now is no time to dilly dally. We gotta fucking go. Getting close, guys. We better abandon ship now. We take one step out there as good as dead. Besides, we got a full load of spice. We can't just leave. Damn the spice! Oh, the 
this thing is getting too close. Where's Paul? We got everyone though, right? You have responsibilities. Guys, I'm sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Go. Dr. Kynes. There's something about that though. She knows. Everything they've left us is in shambles. Their carry-all was just old. The desert isn't kind to equipment. You know what will happen if I don't get spice production back on track. I'm not here to take your part. Arrakis has seen men like you come and go. The desert's not kind to humans either. Spice is a psychoactive chemical seem to be sensitive right i keep forgetting spice is a hallucinogen i had a vision what did you see oh i thought i saw my death only it wasn't someone will hand me a blade but i don't know who or when or where some things, though, are crystal clear. I can feel it. I know you're pregnant. Whoa. Did she even know? I bet you know that it's only been a few weeks. Oh, shit. Well, he knows. Seleucus Secundus? Imperial planet. I love the sound of throat singing. It's so unique. And like a huge talent to do. Oh, is that all blood? Just so? Three battalions. She hasn't told him yet, has she? There's something you need to know about Paul. No. Oh, or maybe he does, and she's just telling him about this. From the moment he was born, I never questioned you. I trusted you completely. Will you protect our son? With my life. I'm not asking his mother, I'm asking the Bene Gesserit. Why are you having these thoughts? Later, this is not you. I thought we'd have more time. Have a good night, Master Paul. What is that? I should have married you. They're not married? Not there's anything wrong with that. Oh! Great. Okay. Sick. Those are those little things, right? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Power. Security. No. 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 <sighs> no. So what are those pills then? I don't trust them. God in heaven. Get everything with guns off the ground. Go. Oh my gosh. They're just destroying it all everything, all of them. God, there's so many of them. Oh no. Sound effects with the shields are so cool and the way that they look. I'm sorry, my lord, but I've made a bargain <sighs> with the Baron. The Harkonnens have my wife, Mona. I will buy her freedom, and you are the price. For Paul and you will kill a man for me. I'm going to replace your back tooth. If you buy them hard, this tooth will crash. Breathe out, and you will fill the air with poison. It will be your last breath. But if you choose your moment well, it will also be the Baron's. Oh, interesting. I 
I hate that these trees are burning. No, no. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, they're on a ship. Oh, they've been captured. All right. Oh, gosh, no. I hope he makes it, but I feel like he's going to die. Okay, 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 cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Is he gonna make it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Benny Jesuit ain't on highborn. She's highborn enough for me. Don't you dare touch my mother. <laughs> Remove her gag. You got this. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Remove the gag! Kill him! Nice. Alright, we're gonna take all of them down this way, right? Set her free! Yes! Yes! Cut the rope! Give me the knife! Hell yes. This is so cool. Your pitch was too forced. Your love cut. Uh, They've crippled the ship. Sick. Well, this is not super great. Make sure to not walk or run rhythmically. Oh man, that view. Shit. And where do they go? Because as soon as the sun gets to a certain point, they can't survive very long, right? Unless they have those suits, which I don't know if that they do. You have a wonderful kitchen, cousin. That was weird. This is Dr. Yue's handwriting. If anyone makes it out of Arakeen alive, there's an Atreides speaking in the front kit. God willing, they'll be able to find you. The Lord Baron, Dr. Yue. The traitor. I gemmed their combs and lowered their shields. I delivered the Duke and his family. Deliver my wife from her agony. Yes. So this is where he's gonna crunch down on the tooth, right? Because he said to time it right and he can fill the room with poison. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. Oh, ouch. A join her. Oh, God. No. <sighs> Gross. For hundreds of years, we've traded blood for blood. Your son is dead. Your concubine is dead. Tonight, the house of a trade is full. And your bloodline ends forever. I don't think so. Here I am. Here I remain. Wow, that filled the room quick. Oh, and there's the ring. It's a shitty way to find out. It's his now. It's not safe for you here. Will you tell the great house of the Lands Rat how we were betrayed? I am commanded to say nothing. To see nothing. The Emperor sent us here to die. Oh. Gross. Also, what the hell is this? <laughs> Spice in the tank. Yes, there is. Whoa. Okay. That's the beauty of Oh, you again. I can see it. Somebody help me, please. I see a holy war spreading across the universe like unquenchable fire. A warrior religion that waves the Atreides banner in my father's name. Everyone shouting my name. Oh, you are your father's son. You are my son, Juno. 
Get off me! Jeez. You did this to me! You better Jesuit made me a freak! Oh, scared me. Ugh. My father's dead. Let's get out of here. No. He seemed confused by that. Duncan. I'm so sorry, your father. We know. My Lord Duke. Harkonnens hit every population center on the planet at once. There was Sardaukar with them, these two battalions. The Emperor's taken aside. What says the judge of the change? The Emperor forbids me from saying anything at all. And yet you risk your life to help us. It's picking a side, Kenna. Without saying words. The storm will be here in a few hours. It's an old ecological testing station. They were meant to tame the planet, free the water locked beneath the sands. Arrakis could have been a paradise. Then the spice was discovered. We find still suits to fit our visitors. Yes, Liet. Whoa, it's cool. You know what the great houses fear most, Dr. Kynes? Exactly what has happened to us here. Only together can they stand a chance against the Imperium. Would you bear witness? There would be general warfare between the great houses and the Emperor. And the Emperor has no sons, and his daughters are yet to marry. You'd make a play for the throne. He brought you here to kill you. Furman, speak of the Lusan al Gaib. Careful. The voice from the outer world who will lead them to paradise. Superstition. Mm. Mm. Don't think so. I know you loved a Fremen warrior and lost him in battle. I know you walk in two worlds and are known by many names. I've seen your dream. As Emperor Dr. Kynes, I can make a paradise for Arrakis with a wave of my hand. Is that Leto? <laughs> or just someone that looks like him? Zarkar! No! Duncan! Oh, no! <sighs> Duncan, no! He's locked the door. There's so many of them. Oh, he's doing a good job. No. I mean, I figured he was going to die, but. You guys got to go. He's gone. Yeah. It's, oh, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, go, 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 go. It's a good thing he had one last fight in him because that got them in here. Whew. Hopefully the Sardaukar don't know how to find this. You'll find a Thopter ready to fly. That storm out there is your best shot. Head south. Find the Fremen. It only seats two. Oh. The desert's my home. Good luck. Good luck to you. Sandworm. Oh, that's to draw out. Yeah, okay. It's to bring the sandworm over. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, fuck! Oh, but do they not... Do they know that the sandworm's coming? God, you know you come. I serve only one master. Shai Halud. Nice. Man. She was awesome. No jet flares behind us.
Good, good, good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Where's the mic? The mystery of life isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. A process that cannot be understood by stopping it. We must move with the flow of the process. We must join it. Whoa. We chase them. Winds at 800 kilometers an hour. That's pretty windy. Nothing survives such a storm. They're dead. Well, see, you're wrong. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that word to Gady Prime to begin selling us spice reserves. Now I only have one requirement. Income. A squeeze rabbit. Yes, Uncle. In the vermin. Kill them all. I wonder what that is. Like how they filmed that. I just wonder like what they covered him in. Not good. They're like gliding so peacefully now. As soon as we land, run for the rocks. Love how that was filmed. Landscapes are so cool. When there's no worm, sandworm. Now we have to find the front end. Are you good? And they're all underground. I can't remember how far they said they were underground. And also, hopefully, they remember to walk not at the same rhythm. Oh. Unless they end up. Wait. That was Duncan. More visions or dreams or whatever. Even a little desert mouse can survive. You'll need to face your fears. A friend will help you. They have much to learn. The siege where Duncan lived. Ah. Uh, Somewhere off that way. Right, okay. So that was just like a little vision or flashback or whatever. I totally forgot about the compass too, not gonna lie. We'll cross after dark. That's how the Fremen do it. Good call. Good call. We're about to enter worm territory. We can't walk like regular humans. Yeah. We'll have to walk like the Fremen do. I think this is the right direction. The moons are so cool. I love that one is like much smaller and like slightly in front of the other. Just makes for a cool looking sky. Um, is it just passing by? I think so. Yeah, it didn't detect them. I don't think, anyway. I feel like if I saw one, I'd keep moving, too. <laughs> it's close by. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. Hi. Peace from sand. Yeah, don't stomp stomp. Run! Oh, no. But won't it be able to... Running is very even. Oh, my God, hurry. Hurry. Holy, holy... Whoa. Oh. It wants to talk to him? <gasps> this is crazy. It's a thumper. What's a thumper? Someone set off a thumper. Oh. Oh, to get it away. Okay. Not me thinking the worm was like, I'm <laughs> gonna fucking talk. <laughs> that was really cool to see it up close like that, though. Terrifying, though. How big are they? That was insane. Yeah, that was a lot. Someone calls it. We're not alone. Hello? Do not run. You will only waste your body's water. 
Stogar, you know me. I was there when you came to my father's council. This is the boy I told you about. We can't touch him. There was a brief crossing they made in the path of Shai Hulud. He does not speak or act like a weakling. My thumper saved his life. Mm. He's not the one. We have powerful friends. You help us off-world, you will be well rewarded. What wealth can you offer beyond the water in your flesh? He can learn our ways. He may have sanctuary, but the woman isn't trained. I'm too old to learn. <sighs> oh, shit. Nice. She'll cut my throat. Didn't you say you were a weirding woman? Our conversation ran short. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I judged hastily. Majina da sits tabra. We wanna lick us at I would not have let you hurt my friend. We meet at last. They say you are the Mahdi, but you look like a little boy. You chose the hardest way up. Follow me. You will have your own mola pistol when you've earned it. Give it to me. Chani, take charge of the newcomers. Chani. I will not have them. Oh boy. Is he gonna die? She bested you. I invoke the Antal. You may not challenge Esayadina. Then who will fight in her name? Jamis, don't do this. The night is fading. Then the sun will witness this death. Oh. I accept her champion. So he has to die then. I don't believe you're the Lisan al Gahib, but I want you to die with honor. This Chris knife was given to me by my great aunt. It's made from a tooth of Shai Halud. This will be a great honor for you to die holding it. Jonas is a good fighter. He won't let you suffer. Johnny. I want to know what he was going to say. May thy knife chip and shatter. You should welcome my blade. All right, so far so good. There's no yielding under the Amta rule. Only mm. death is the test of that. So he has to kill him, kill him. Is he toying with him? No. He's never killed, and this guy will kill you. I like the music choice with this scene. I feel like she sees him a lot differently now because she was all like, she she was pretty confident he was dying, so. You're one of us now. A life for a life. Oh, there we go. Come with us to sit stubborn. No, Paul needs to get off wild. No. You have it. The Emperor sent us to this place. Not for the riches, but for the strength of your people. My road leads into the desert. If you'll have us, we will come. Whoa. So yeah, everything he was seeing then was like visions of the future, his future. Okay, well, makes sense that it's a part one, part two. The story is definitely not over. <laughs> I will say this right now, I'm gonna wanna edit this first before I get my thoughts in order because I genuinely don't even like know what to say right now. I feel like I need, <laughs> I just need another one through. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot though.
If you enjoyed that reaction, please let me know by clicking that like button down below. Sometimes certain reactions are a struggle to edit, even if I enjoyed the movie. And this one gave me the biggest turtle that I've had in a very long time. It was probably a mix of the length of the film combined with the fact that I just very recently hit a little bit of burnout and was just not feeling so great overall. That said, I actually really enjoyed taking my time with this edit compared to my normal edits that I put on the channel. I really sat with this one for a week almost. That allowed me to get a little bit of greater understanding of the film and the story and made me like it a lot more. So what you all just watched was my in the moment reaction and now I'm coming to you today to talk talk about my thoughts after the editing process. I thought this was a fantastic movie and it's wild to me that the book was written so many decades ago. So many decades ago that even Star Wars, the first one, had some inspiration pulled from this book and this story. I love the music, the cinematography, the casting, the acting, the story, all of it was just really great. It hit all the right things for me and I would file this away as a solid four and a half out of five stars. I've docked a half star because I'm still unsure at this point if this is like a favorite favorite movie of mine. And I've also docked the half star because the beginning of the movie, like the first 20 to 30 minutes, just feels so much different than the rest. And I'm not sure why that is for me. It's possible that I felt it was slower or maybe it was just everything being introduced to me that it took me a bit to kind of just make sense of what was going on. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but after that 20, 30 minutes, the movie really picked up and I was very, very invested. I initially thought of this as a fantasy story, but it seems pretty clear to me now that it's actually really strong science fiction about just like super far humanity in the future. I'm really looking forward to part two just to see how this part of the story unfolds. I know that the books like really take things far, we'll call it. <laughs> I think there's something like eight or more books. I actually don't even know how many books there are. Mostly I'm just looking forward to seeing how part two affects my opinion of part one. And to touch on the books, I am definitely up for reading them one day, hopefully in this decade, because I've got multiple series that have priority at the moment. <laughs> I think out of everything, the visuals in this movie impressed me the most. Everything just looked so, so real to me. The costumes especially, they were so unique and so real looking. These groups of people, the landscapes, the ships, the cities, the languages, the politics, the sandworm. To me, it was all just very, very engaging to watch. And at a few points in this movie, I was reminded of the movie Arrival, which is a movie that I really enjoy. And so when I looked up the director, realized it was the same guy. It all makes sense to me now. The casting was great all around, from Timothy to Paul, Zendaya to Chani, Oscar to Leto, Jason to Duncan, Josh Brolin to Gurney. <laughs> I love seeing so many recognizable faces, and I love how I watched this movie because it won a Josh Brolin poll, but yet his character really didn't have a huge presence in this movie, on screen presence at least. His character is important. I feel like he's fleshed out a lot more in the book. My favorite though was Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica. Lady Jessica was also my favorite character. I love how much she can convey with just like a glance and a sigh. So good. I also have so much fascination with the Bene Gesserit. I love witches, I love strong matriarchal groups, and I just wanna know more because I find it fascinating that for hundreds of years, they just have wanted to breed that's like superhuman. <laughs> I'll admit that the Bene Gesserit is like the number one reason why I actually wanna read the books. Stellan Skarsgård as the Baron was really cool. Definitely reminded me of the Emperor from Star Wars in a way because they both seem to just like command from the room and never actually get directly involved with anything. Since Leto didn't end up killing him like he wanted to, it will be interesting to see the Baron's role and what happens to him in part two. Finally, the score. Not at all surprising to see that Hans Zimmer was the one leading the charge on this because it definitely did feel Hans Zimmery to me at times, but yet his score for this film feels so different to anything that he's ever done. I think it was the use of the choir throughout a lot of the score that made it feel that way. I also really appreciated the bagpipe moment in that score during that scene. That was really, really good. Overall, I'm very glad I watched this. So thank you so much for voting for it. I really appreciate it. And I am very excited for part two. I will admit though, that it's gonna be really hard to not go and watch that one in the theater. <laughs> so if I don't end up putting out a reaction to it, I am sorry. I am sorry. I might just have to go see that one in the theater. I wanna go to Letterboxd now, since this is a newer movie, I'm sure there's gonna be tons of fun reviews to pick from. Reviews, of course. So let's go. The very first review, and I sort by most popular, is three and a half stars by Jay. How are you gonna birth a chosen one with unlimited undiscovered power destined to unite civilizations in the far reaches of the universe and call him Paul? <laughs> 
Next up is a three and a half star review by Julian who says, I'm sorry, but I can't take Timothy Chalamet seriously. He looks like a guy who knows too much about TikTok. <laughs> Next is a four and a half star review by Mario, who simply says that this is Anakin's favorite movie. <laughs> the sand jokes never get old. And finally, a four and a half star review by Patrick, who says the classic story where a kid's parents make him move to a shitty place he hates and everything goes wrong until the kid makes some nice new friends. So basically it's the sand lot. <laughs> I haven't actually seen the sand lot though. All right, and now it's that time of the video where I turn it to you and ask you to leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts on Dune and have you read the books? I do know that there's been like a TV series and also another movie from the 80s, I think, that are from the book. But is this your favorite adaptation? Have you seen the others? Just let me know your thoughts below. Please don't spoil for me the events of what happens in part two, which I believe is like the last half of the first book. Um, I definitely want to wait for the movie to find out what happens in this story, but yeah. And emoji assignment, please put a worm in your comment. <laughs> That's fitting, right? <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone on Patreon for the financial support. As always, if you want to join them to get full length watch alongs, voting rights and more, feel free. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please click here to do so. Again, so close to 20,000 subs. Come and join everyone. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you want to continue watching something of mine, click over here for a video and a playlist. And just thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.